So, I can see this right here, and this right here, and, uh, okay. so the and the flash, and the and and the and the Okay, so just gonna go ahead and take this, um, this, this fitting off for this side, uh, this grind wheel, and this is just a four millimeter cap head screw here. And all I did was put um, this, this nut right here is unknown size. It's bigger than a 19 millimeter, which is my biggest 19 millimeter wrench. Um, so I just put a um, crescent wrench on it and broke this cap head nut free. And it's a standard thread. So lefty Lucy. And then this just slides off, apparently. I suspect the wheel is supposed to go between these two discs, so this nut has to come off, um, but it's really seized on here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just put it in the Sonic and let it try to break it free. Um, I'll go ahead and put these parts in the Sonic as well. So again, four millimeter cap head screws times three here. Kind of tough for you guys to see that, but. Okay, so just took these three cap head screws off and this just slides off of here. And this is kind of loose. Um, this comes off. So you want it to be in that orientation with the flat end against the flat there. And these can go in the Sonic now. That's what it looks like down in there. I'm not gonna do any more with that. Keep these guys together. Okay, so just gonna let them sonic a whole bunch. And uh, now just going to go ahead and uh, get this thing all taped off and ready for paint. Do that now. So 
I was saying in the first video, this nut loosens off and you tap it up to release the cam, to release this pin out of here. And um, I'm just prepping this thing for paint and uh, I really don't wanna leave that in there. So I thought I was originally gonna leave it in there, but I'm not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it out and um, I noticed that, let me just take these off, that if you come in right on top of this pin back here, and give it a little tappy, tappy, tappy. You can see it comes right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that pin uh, right now. Okay, so this pin is out now and it was just up in here. And um, I don't know if you remember on the first video or not, but I mentioned that I thought one of these pieces was half, half mooned and I thought it was gonna be the shaft, but it turns out that it's actually this part. This is the cam part that when you tighten this nut, it pulls this, um, it sort of pushes this in and locks this, this pin in place in here. Okay. Okay, so just going to install the the side this right hand side of the fixture here.
So this is the retention. I don't know, I call it a half moon, but cam, whatever. Um, just gonna put it up in here. It's gonna be tough for you guys to see this, I think. Just get it started in there. And then it's just a tappy tappy. So before it didn't matter if I touched it. Okay. And it's just getting started in there. Let's see if I can show you. Gonna drive it up a little further. Okay, now give us a little punch on this side. Okay, so I went ahead and put the snap ring back in first, and then I put the cover plate in from the, from the back side just there. And uh, I have this, I have this uh, shaft pushed all the way in. So the bearing is just, uh, there's probably, I don't know, uh, 10 thousandths or 20 thousandths there between the face of the um, casting and the bearing. And it seems to go on. I don't know, I may have to push this shaft back a little bit, but at least it goes on like that. And now, that just pops on the bearing right there and that's just being held on by that one bearing right now and uh, now I'm just gonna put the needle bearing on this side okay so I'm gonna first start out by putting the uh, drift key in here and uh, this is what it looks like there is flats ground on it and uh, I failed to mention last time that there is a two millimeter uh, Allen head um, in this screw so um, that is what you should be doing. And the nut itself is just the stop, the set screw. So um, if you do go to take this off, um, just be aware of that. So I'm just gonna get this started in here. And uh, again, just wanna get it so those flats are aligned with where the key is going to be on the needle bearing, which is right there. As the needle bearing has a front and a back, um, you want to make sure that you're putting it in with uh, the stopper coming out, right? Because if you push it in this way, those needle bearings are going to get pushed right out um, and they're not going to stay in there. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a little lubrication. So now um, I'm just going to push this in this way, see if I can get everything to line up at once here. Okay, it feels like it might be just a little bit tight. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there we go. 
Okay. And I am just going to give that a tap. And this feels like it's fully seated there. So, okay. Now I am just going to tighten this nut up a little bit. Number seven. I'm probably totally getting in the way of the shot here. I apologize in advance. Okay, so. So I got it started now. I'm trying to get you guys the shot here. So I'm just gonna tighten this up. I'm not gonna go crazy. So like I said, we'll we'll work on that part a little bit more and try to get that uh, that to move. Okay, so here's where we're at. Um, these parts are ready to be reassembled for the right-hand sided fixture. Um, they came out all pretty good. Pretty pleased with that from what it was. Um, again, you can, the numbers are back. We can actually see numbers and make an accurate cut. Um, so everything's pretty good. Uh, I couldn't get this little fixture apart there's a little there's a little screw down in here and uh, that screw comes out and this comes off but i can't seem to get this screw out of this fixture right here this little tiny screw doesn't want to push out even if i take that little set screw out so um, i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to buff this really shiny and not paint it not paint it at all and um, this will just be, you know, it'll be bare metal, but I will protect it with either like shark hide or some of that uh, anti-rust stuff, that uh, lanolin stuff. Um, so that's that. That's that tray. And here's all the components that go on that tray. So the two lead screws. Um, I do want to mention that um, when I took this out, um, I want to see if I can show you. This has ball bearings in here. There is ball bearings in there. And they are only floating in that brass washer, right? So they're just floating in there. So be very careful when taking this part out. I, I did not know until now um, that they are loose. And I apologize, I didn't include that. I'll try to go back and put a notation or something in there. But um, when you press this out, be careful that you don't lose those bearings, do it over tray or something like that. Uh, very important. Um, also, I'd like to mention, I didn't mention in the other video, I did put a text in, but it didn't seem to make the editing or whatever. There's a screw right here, and that is a key for a keyway on like this collar right here. So here's a keyway and um, those don't come out, so don't even try. You can see I kind of messed that screw up a little bit trying to get it out. Um, I finally just figured out it's just a, a keyway. Maybe it does come out, I, and I just didn't want to. Uh, here's another one. So there's two on this on this armature. So one here and one here. Just leave them in there and either tap them out or press them out. Uh, but anyway, we got the two lead screws good to go. Um, the bearings are... Uh, they're not they're they're clean, but they're not lubed yet. I uh, got two needle bearings here. Um, they're ready to go. These uh, these mic these micrometers had a coating on them. You can see this one. This one was in really really bad shape, and um, I couldn't save the coating, but I was able to get the rust off. So for the most part, and you can at least use the number you know use the use the actual numbers that are on there. 
This one, I could save the coating. I, d I debated whether to take it off and have it match this one, but I'm gonna leave it on and um, maybe try to work on just getting a little bit more of this rust off, but it's, I mean, for the most part, rust-free. It's just chipped in the inside uh, on the uh, coating. So anyway, so that's where it's at. That's what we're looking like. We have our finished trays just ready to reassemble. Um, we have to thank Miss Spine Sales for stopping at Harbor Freight and getting us a new pair of snap ring pliers. Thank you for that, Mrs. Spine Sales. And we're pretty much there uh, as far as this part goes. This is uh, primarily, I mean, just basically dry fit, but uh, it is on there. It does, it does move. Everything is work in, in working order. Um, you can hear that bearing is being engaged. It's actually pulling that finger in and out. And I suspect that's what that's supposed to sound like. It didn't sound like that before. Um, so everything's looking really, really good. Really happy. Um, and uh, this was a little bit of a bugger. These, uh, these components here were, um, you know, where the, where the, the discs go or the, uh, the grinding wheel goes. It was pretty, it was pretty buggered on there, um, but I got everything working. Everything seems to be in working order. So now just have to assemble the right-sided fixture and uh, we'll be in business. This was completely seized. I had to use the inductor on that thing to get it off. Um, and the lamp works. All the all the wiring in the lamp works. I did uh, I did try it out, and uh, it was just that bad connection. So, no big deal. So yeah, this is going to be part three, and then stay tuned for part four, where um, we will do final assembly. <laughs>